Africa COVID-19 deaths rise sharply. Under-resourced health systems in African countries are facing dire shortages of the health workers, supplies, equipment and infrastructure needed to provide care to severely ill COVID-19 patients. COVID-19 deaths rose by more than 40% last week, reaching 6,273, or nearly 1,900 more than the previous week. Most of the recent deaths, or 83%, occurred in Namibia, South Africa, Tunisia, Uganda and Zambia. African countries face shortages in oxygen and intensive care beds. Fatalities are rising as hospital admissions increase rapidly as African countries face shortages in oxygen and intensive care beds. COVID-19 deaths rose by more than 40% last week, reaching 6,273, or nearly 1,900 more than the previous week. The number is just shy of the 6,294 peak, recorded in January. Reaching breaking point. Deaths have climbed steeply for the past five weeks. This is a clear warning sign that hospitals in the most impacted countries are reaching a breaking point, said Dr. Mats Hidisomo Eti, World Health Organization, WHO, Regional Director for Africa. Under resourced health systems in African countries are facing dire shortages of the health workers, supplies equipment and infrastructure needed to provide care to severely ill COVID-19 patients. Africa's case fatality rate, which is the proportion of deaths among confirmed cases, stands at 2.6% compared to the global average of 2.2%. Most of the recent deaths, or 83%, occurred in Namibia, South Africa, Tunisia, Uganda and Zambia. 6 million cases. COVID-19 cases on the continent have risen for eight consecutive weeks, topping 6 million on Tuesday, WHO reported. An additional 1 million cases were recorded over the past month, marking the shortest time to reach this grim milestone. Comparatively, it took roughly three months for cases to jump from 4 million to 5 million. Delta variants drive surge. The surge is being driven by public fatigue with key health measures and an increased spread of virus variants. The Delta variant, the most transmissible, has been detected in 21 countries, while the Alpha and Beta variants have been found in more than 30 countries each. Globally, there are four COVID-19 virus variants of concern. On Wednesday, a WHO emergency committee meeting in Geneva warned of the strong likelihood of new and possibly more dangerous variants emerging and spreading. Delivering Effective Treatment WHO is working with African countries to improve COVID-19 treatment and critical care capacities. The UN agency and partners are also delivering oxygen cylinders and other essential medical supplies and have supported the manufacture and repair of oxygen production plants. The number one priority for African countries is boosting oxygen production to give critically ill patients a fighting chance Dr. Moetti said effective treatment is the last line of defense against COVID-19 and it must not crumble. The rising caseload comes amid inadequate vaccine supplies. So far, 52 million people in Africa have been inoculated, which is just 1.6% of total COVID-19 vaccinations worldwide. Meanwhile, roughly 1.5% of the continent's population, or 18 million people, are fully vaccinated, compared with over 50% in some high-income countries.